Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nikhil Gajam, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we will see exception handling in Python. Learning outcome, at the end of this session, uh, student will be able to write a Python script for handling an exception. Okay. Uh, what is exception? Uh, generally, there are two types of uh, Errors are there, one we call it as uh, uh, normal errors and second one is exceptions. Okay? Uh, error is generally which are occurring during compile time uh, and then exception which are occurring during execution time. Okay? Uh, so, what is exception? Uh, exceptions are special events which are handling or occurring during execution of your program. Okay? Which are uh, uh, because of the user input generally or maybe uh, program uh, errors are also occurring uh, which causes an exception generally. So, an exception is an event which occurs during execution of your program that disrupts the normal flow of program's instructions. You can defend your program by placing a suspicious code inside a try block and then after a try block include an accept statement. So, how to handle this exception? Uh, in Java you have try cache block, in Python you have try and accept block. So, if you think that this is a suspicious code or exception may be occur, may be occur uh, during, uh, uh, during the execution of your program, all the statements generally you are including inside a try block. If exception occurs, then control will be jumped to the accept block and execution uh, will be uh, 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 or the statements which are present inside accept block will be executed. So, all the suspicious code which you think that uh, exception may occur during execution of your program, all the statements generally belonging to try block. And if exception occurs, then except block will be executed. If exception does not occur in the try block, then, then except block will not be executed. So, this is how you are handling the exception in Python. Okay? Now, there are uh, some uh, examples of exceptions as uh, divide by 0 exception. Suppose you have written a code for division of two numbers and suppose second number is 0. So, obviously, division is not possible. So, this is an exception. So, this is not the fault of actually a programmer. Programmer has written the correct code, but the value which is entered by the user, a second value is 0. So, uh, a division is not possible. So, this is an exception. Suppose another exception may be a file not found. Suppose you have written a code for reading the file or writing content into the file. Reading, reading from the file and suppose during execution suppose that file is not present at the particular location. So, this is an exception occurred during execution of your program. So, these are the some examples of exceptions in Python. So, how to handle, sir, handle that? So, you have a try and accept block. In Java you have try and cache block, in Python you have try and accept block. Okay, so, this is a syntax for try and accept block. So, uh, there is generally a single try block is present and multiple accept block may be there for a particular try block. Okay? So, uh, a try then colon then uh, all the statements belonging to try, try those are inside this try block. And uh, generally you include all the statements you think that exception may be occur those statements are included in the try block. Then accept exception 1. Uh, then block of this code of exception 1, then accept, accept, exception 2, then block of the code for this exception 2. So, uh, this multiple accept block may be present in your Python file, then other code may be also present. Uh, so, common exception, these are the common exceptions. The first one is zero division errors. This is happens when uh, you have written the code for division of two numbers and second number is zero and occurs when a number is divided by 0. Obviously, divided by 0 it is not possible. A second one is name error. It occurs when name is not found. It may be a local or global. Third one is indentation error. If incorrect, incorrect indentation is given, uh, then exception is indentation error. Then IO error. It occurs when input output operation fails. And end of file error. So, it occurs when end of file is reached and yet operations are being performed. So, we have we will see one example uh, zero division error and how to write a try and accept block in python. Okay? So, this is pycharm. Suppose, I will I will take two numbers from the user a equal to int then input 
then enter this is number 1 then b equal to int input then enter number 2 then result equal to a divided by b and then print result equal to comma result this is your common program but how to include now uh, try and accept block inside this program generally you know that exception may occurs for this 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 line for this statement so what i will write i will write this uh, inside try block so this is try this is my try block and then accept block so this is accept this is print i am printing error message suppose division by 0 is not possible okay this is try and accept block we'll execute this suppose enter number 1 number 1 is suppose 10 number 2 is suppose 5 so output is 2 so number 1 is 10 number 2 is 5 obviously division is possible so result will be calculated as 2 and it is printed no accept block will be executed now what happens suppose i will give number 2 as 0 suppose number 1 as 10 and number 2 as 0 no no when i have entered number 2 as 0 0 will be stored inside b so result equal to a divided by b so 10 divided by 0 it is not possible not possible so this is an exception exception occurred for this statement so next statement is not executed control will automatically jump to the except block in this case okay next is whatever statements you have written inside except block that will be executed so in except block there is only one print statement that will be printed so generally try and except block generally you are writing uh, you are including in your program to handle the exception if exception is occurring and still you want to uh, print some uh, messages to the user or you want to handle the program or to close the connections of database or to the close the collections of uh, files generally you that's why you are writing and try and accept block okay okay we'll move forward uh, next one uh, apart from try and accept there is finally block is also present so python provides an optional finally statement which is used to uh, which is used with the try and accept block it is executed no matter what exception occurs and used to release the external resources the finally block provides guarantee of execution so syntax is like this a uh, try then code accept then code then finally then code as we know uh, if exception is not occurring in the try block accept block will not be executed if exception is occurred in the try block somewhere so all the statements after that that statement will not be executed control will directly jump to the accept block okay what finally block is there finally all the statements inside finally block will be executed irrespective of whether exception occurring during execution of your program or not so what code you write generally inside finally block uh, whatever connections which are related to database or related to files generally you are closing uh, closing statements uh, you are writing inside a finally block so irrespective of uh, whether exception may occur in the try block or may not occur a finally block will be executed okay so this is about finally block then accept statement uh, using uh, using with the exception variable so you can uh, declare a variable for exception also for printing what type of exception is there you can use the variable also in this case suppose this is a try block and this is accept exception as e, e. so exception uh, it is all type of uh, exception may Uh, handled by this exception class okay instead of writing divided by 0 x error or io error something like that generally you write exception it will handle all type of er exceptions so exceptions as exception as e so e is a variable name in this case okay so i have printed a kind divided by 0 and then print e so e is a variable name it will print what type of exception occur during execution of your program so you can store the exception uh, in exception inside a variable also in using this way so think and write you can pause the video and you can answer for this question uh, guess the output if a equal to 0 and b equal to 
this is try block a equal to int input enter a b equal to int input enter b suppose a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 c equal to a divided by b print a divided by b except exception print card can't divide by 0 then finally block is there you can pause the video and you can answer okay answer for zero uh, this question is uh, value of b is 0 exception occurs for this statement control will jump to the except block it will print can't divide by 0 after except a uh, finally block will be executed so uh, it will print program ends here okay so output for this program is can't divide by 0 it is a statement which belongs to except block and program ends here it is a statement which belongs to finally block so this is output of this program so these are the references i have used for this uh, for this video thank you